Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we have allowed the user to pick multiple images and to upload it to the Firebase storage. Now, in this video, you will learn how to save it in the Firestore database. But before doing that, one thing which we have to do is to create our edit form, account settings form, you can say, where the user can edit his old or previous data. Currently, we have only implemented the images picker, which the user pick multiple image and upload. We write the code for it. So let implement our that form. You already remember we have had that condition here. That is when the user click on the next button, then we will display that uh, editing form, account settings form, or you can say account edit form. child column widget main exercise dot minimum now for the time saving we will go back to our authentication registration screen and it will be the same form which we implement here for the personal info appearance lifestyle and all these things so copy first of all these text editing controllers from here come back here let me minimize that so that we can see it easily okay you can see that also after the text editing controllers we need to define the variables for assigning the previous data as we will get the old data and assign it to these variables in order to display it so we have some variables for personal info then for appearance, lifestyle, now what we need to do is we need to basically retrieve the previous data that is the previous or you can say old data which we will display on the text fields. So we can say retrieve user data. current user id dot doc dot dot get dot then First we will check if that user record even exists or not. So we will say snapshot dot exist. If it exists only then we will get that. So first of all we will get the user personal data and we will assign it to the required variables like this. And the phone number is with the same key in the database okay which is phone number okay so make sure that you use the same keys which is available in the database okay otherwise you will get error we get appearance then of course the lifestyle and then we get the background cultural values so this is our method which we will call inside the init state now as we have the data which we already retrieved now that is the retrieve user data the next thing is to display it on the text fields so of course first we have to design the user interface for that which we have not yet designed but already you know that we have implemented on our registration screen so for the time saving we will come back here and the same UI we will use on our account setting screen so from the registration screen what you can do is you can simply start copying these information which is from here okay first copy this 
size box alongside with this personal info come back here to the account setting screen and add that like this change this to 2 after the personal info let's start adding our these controllers so the personal info is phone number country profile heading up to here as you know before the appearance you can see that all these are personal information copy it and then after the personal info title we will simply paste that in here of course from here we will remove some of them because we know not need the password one which is this one so remove this password alongside with this size box also we do not need the email one here so remove this alongside with the size box so we have name make sure to import custom text field widget name text field then edge for number city country and then of course profile heading and looking for in a partner so this is the personal now after the personal comes the appearance so from here the appearance height weight body type up to here copy it step by step we are going okay so you can see it easily so appearance height weight and then body type and then now let's copy from here lifestyle up to the end which also includes the background culture values okay so copy this up to here which is ethnicity and then of course with the size box okay you can see that up to this ethnicity you can copy it and simply paste that in here make sure to import the cupertino dot dot so this is all our user interface now of course let me minimize this so that you can see it okay smog then martial status now at the end of our form we need a button just like we have here our create account button so just copy it alongside with the size box come back here to the account setting screen and paste it after this size box in here of course we will change this now here what we need to do is we do not need this if condition okay so first of all you see here it ends so we will select all this code which is inside this if condition okay control x remove this if condition and also this else condition and paste that back which is this if condition for validating the form that is all the fields are filled of course we have removed the email and password we do not need that here and then also we do not need this email password we do not need that and now also remove this set stat from here also we need our you have to remove this okay this is a method which we will now implement and we will give it name as save user data save user data to firestore database okay that is the method to which we are passing these parameters this information okay that is something which we will implement also remove this set stat we do not need that only these parameter which we are passing to this method 
okay this method we will create and then comes to the else part so in the else part we can say display the snack bar and this button name will be update so if you remember just like on our registration screen uh, when the user tap that button we call this method create new user account and here we receive all these parameter inside our this method then we execute that method what we can do here in the same way we can as you know this is our authentication controller where we have our this method for the registration I hope you remember that in the same way now first let me implement this method which is save user data to firestore database or the correct name for this will be update because it is updating okay so update please rename this to update let's implement this method above here the widget build above the init stat and these parameter we have to receive here just like we receive here as you can see so copy these all and paste it here one thing you have to keep in mind is here we do not receive this email password okay on the update form on our account settings we do not need that we already remove the controllers and everything related to that okay that is email password we do not need already we remove that so on our account setting screen now when we call this method to our method we pass all this information which we are receiving here as you can see also we do not need the profile image here only the name age up to here these are the parameters which we are receiving here and of course this will be a synchronous method now once this method is called from here you know we pass these parameters to it which we receive here so as we have this data now now we will save it to the database before doing that in the app bar if you remember on this button we ex we display that show dialog and upload images we will do that not here now control x okay remove it remove it from here okay the correct and best place for that is once the form is validated once the user added the form that is added name added uh, personal information or any other information then uh, we will start uploading the images first and then we will do the rest of the things like this okay first we display this circular progress indicator with this and then we start uploading the images so the best way is here okay that is when our form is validated as you know before calling that first we validate the form inside this if condition and when it is validated we call this method so when we call this method first we make sure that we upload the images once the images are uploaded successfully then we can start saving the information